everyone. Welcome back to Low Luxury, the channel where I show you what authentic luxury clothing and streetwear looks like. Today, I'm so happy to be showing you a real Tom Brown sweater. So let's get right into it. But before we get going, I've looked into it and a very, very tiny percentage of you are actually subscribed to the channel. So it doesn't cost you anything. If you like the content I make, just click that subscribe button and I thank you profusely. All right, first let's take a look at the retail tag. So it's a very simple tag, a kind of yellow manila color, almost looks like something you'd find in a filing cabinet, but it does have a rectangular white sticker with rounded edges and all centered there. You've got Tom Brown, all caps, New York, then a model number, then model name, Dolphin Intarsia Classic Crew Neck Pullover in cotton. And then down at the bottom, colored blue and size one because Tom Brown does use Japanese sizing. You've got a little cutout here with brown around the edges and the back of that is totally blank. And that is connected by a very thin white string that is tied around the made in tag. Now let's take a look at that brand tag at the back of the neck. So it is a white embroidered tag with the Tom Brown logo in black, Tom Brown with a period at the end and then New York smaller centered under it. And there's a good amount of space between Tom Brown and New York. And those two things together are centered within the tag. And this tag stitched in with horizontal white stitches in all four corners. And if we turn that over, we can see the inverse colors from the back side of the embroidery. And you do get a bit of a white border there. You can also see that the tag is folded over. As for the maiden tag, you can see that this one was made in Ireland. I'd say the majority of Tom Brown stuff I've seen is made in Japan, but being made in Ireland here makes sense because the whole, you know, UK and Ireland are pretty well known for their knits. So if you want to find knit, it makes a lot of sense to me. The difference here is that this tag, obviously while being smaller, only has single stitches centered on the left and right. Everything else about it, very similar. Now let's take a look at the fabric tags inside the sweater. So you've got two things here. On the left, you have a white embroidered loop tag for the size, and it is a one in black with a period. And you can see how that's stitched in with a single clean white stitch up at the top. There's nothing on the back of that. And the fabric tags are a glossy sort of satin style plastic tag. And first you get a model number, which matches what was on the retail tag. And then you get your fabrication, and that's it for this one. On the back of that, you get washing instructions and made in Ireland. And the next one has that same information, but in Japanese. And the back of that is blank. And you can see that these are stitched in from the front in the top right and top left corners with white stitches. Now there are a whole lot of really nice details to look at here. Obviously that knit dolphin is beautiful. It looks hand knit, honestly. It's a nice thick knit. And then you've got the four bars going through the tail here, right? One, two, three, four in that blue. And the white and blue do not touch here. They're all separated. You also get the four bars in white at the sleeve. And again, that's a really nice pattern with the little arrows there. At the sleeves and the hem, you have these nice details here. We've got buttons. And then inside, you've got that classic Tom Brown red, white, and black trim there in a sort of polyester feeling material. And there it is down at the hem, right? The neck has some really nice detailing all around here. And then it's got a kind of roll neck here. So this just kind of naturally rolls up. But if you were to fold it out, it almost becomes like a mock neck. And at the back of the neck, on the outside, you have a little loop of that same red, white, and black, but this does have a white border to it. So now I think it's time to put this sweater on, see how it feels, and see how it fits. So it's a really nice fitting knit. It is almost nostalgic feeling. It feels like a sweater I would have worn growing up when I was little. And the fit very much feels like a Tom Brown fit, a kind of tight, tailored fit. The sleeves are nice and long, I like that, and they have a good amount of stretch to them, so I fit in them well. But the waist, it feels almost cropped, it ends a bit higher than I would like. So for me, I'm usually a true to size small. Here, a size one is maybe the tiniest bit on the small side for me, it still works totally fine, but 
If I had a complete choice, I'd probably go with a size two personally. So that is how you tell the difference between a real and a fake Tom Brown sweater. Take a look at the other video on screen here, subscribe to this channel, like this video, and I'll see you next time.